Hello, everyone, and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to leverage DALI 2 to generate images based on text data. The question is, what is DALI? DALI is an AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. Let me show you a few examples. So if you scroll down, you will see basically what, what DALI can do for you. First, it can perform image generation. So you can simply type in an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. And this is basically the image that you get. You can kind of shift here and kind of show you different variations of it. Again, it's pretty powerful. Please note that these images have never existed before. And this is kind of the AI imagination of what that text means in a photo format. And DALI can basically perform many things. First, it can perform image generation, as I just mentioned right now. Second, it can also perform what we call it outpainting. Simply, you can expand images beyond what's in the original canvas, creating kind of some sort of an expansive new compositions. For example, if you have this input image here, you can mention or kind of type to DALI kind of to imagine what this image is in, kind of expand the frame. And that's what you get here. You get an expanded view of the original image only. And I'm going to show you a few examples that kind of kind of blow your mind away. Next, you can simply use um, DALI as well to perform what we call it in painting. And DALI can make realistic edits, edits to existing images from a natural language caption. It can add or remove elements while taking shadows, reflections, and texture into account. Let me show you what I mean by in painting. This is basically an image, okay? And what we're saying, we're saying, okay, please, in this area here, try to add a flamingo beside the pool. And that's what you get here. You get simply a flamingo, and you would notice that Dali is super smart, that it can actually blend in the new object with the old or the original image. So it looks like it has been kind of painted from the start with the flamingo in mind. Okay, and then fourth feature or capability that DALI can do, DALI can take an image and create different variation of it inspired by the original. So this is, for example, the input, and you can see the output here, and you can see multiple variation of the original image as well. Okay. So the first question is, how can I access DALI or try out DALI? So first, you need to go to openai.com, product, and then DALI 2. And all you need to do is to just click on try DALI. And that is going to open, basically, DALI for you. You, uh, you might need to uh, basically sign up with your email. But here, I signed up already. And you can just go ahead and type in what you want DALI to imagine for you. So for example, I can go ahead and say, surprise me. And it's going to say here, kind of, you know, like a prompt, basically. This is going to be crayon drawing of several cute, colorful monsters with ice cream cone bodies on dark blue paper. And if you click Generate, DALI is going to generate, basically, an image that describes what you wrote here in a text format. And what's powerful about DALI, it can basically kind of help us understand what AI is actually thinking, how AI is viewing the world that humans live in. And here we go. Look at this. So basically what you see here is Dali was able to create four variations of the image that try to explain what I wrote in here. You can go ahead and say, again, surprise me. Actually, let's maybe try a cat submarine chimera digital art. Let's go ahead and try that out. Let's see what that looks like. And you can see a few examples here. It's going to show you a bowl of soup. There is also a portal to another dimension, digital art. And look at this. Let's take another example. Look at that. So this is going to show you a cat submarine chimera digital art. And you can click on it, and you can basically ch check it out. And I'm going to show you basically how you take this image and how you edit it and create multiple variation of it as well. OK, let me show you a few prompts that I got here. For example, I can say, please, Dali, create a futuristic spaceport bustling with aliens and spaceships. Let's see what that looks like. It's super fun to play with, but please note that you are limited with the number of credits that you got. So here I purchased basically credits uh, because I ran out of, of those. But uh, if you sign up, you will get free credits initially. Of course, this might change in the future, but um, if you run out, it's not going to charge you. It's going to tell you you run out of credit and you need to purchase credits to play with DALI. 
And here we go. What you see here is basically futuristic spaceport, kind of bustling with aliens and bustling with spacecrafts as well. Okay, let me show you another example that is a little bit more colorful. So what you say here, I'm going to say a fantastical underwater kingdom with mermaids, colorful corals, and sea creatures. Let's go ahead and check that out. And what you see here on the right-hand side, this is kind of the history of all the prompts that I've used before. I'm going to walk you through a lot of these. It's going to be a ton of fun over the next few lessons. And look at this. This is simply a, because I mentioned colorful, what you see here is uh, colorful corals. That's why you see all these different colors. You can see sea creatures here. This is, again, the AI imagination of what sea creatures look like and mermaids look like. And, of course, it's underwater, so it shows here all the coral reefs and uh, the blue color as well here associated with it. Again, super powerful. Please note that these images uh, have never existed before. This is, again, the creative imagination of artificial intelligence um, based on the text information that you provided here. Okay, let's go ahead and try another few ones. So I'm going to say, could you please show me an astronaut riding a horse? So let's go ahead and, sh and, and check it out. And of course, you can see here a few examples. going to tell you an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking. And here we go. This is an example of an astronaut riding a horse. Okay, pretty cool. And I can simply, instead of astronaut, I can say, let's say I want to see what an alien looked like. An alien riding a horse. And let's see how would that going to change, basically, the image that the AI is going to generate for us. And I'm going to show you over the few uh, lessons how to do out painting and how to do in painting as well. And look at this. So what you see an alien riding a horse. This is basically an alien and riding a horse here. So basically that means that artificial intelligence was able to understand the features of what aliens look like. And of course, what astronauts look like. It can also can understand the relationship. So when I say alien riding a horse, it understood that this alien need to be on top of the horse because of the millions of images that the AI has been trained on. So this is incredible because it allows us to see what, are the, what the AI is actually thinking as well, and the AI's imagination of the, the real world. So I can go ahead and say, okay, let's go ahead and see this, an alien riding a horse on the sun. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if that makes sense. You can also see here a futuristic cyborg poster hanging in a neon light subway station. And you can see there's a subway station, there's a neon light here, and the cyborg as well. Here we go. Look at that. So now we have an alien and you have the sun. And again, it's a very clear, I would say, understanding of what we also mean when we wrote this text. Let's go ahead and try uh, basically some additional features. So basically, I'm going to say here, an alien riding a horse on the sun. But now you can add some additional features that you would like to see in the image. For example, I wanted to say I want the image to be dark. I want the image to be photorealistic and I want it to be shadowy. The more detailed you want, the better. Think of it as if you're talking to kind of an expert painter, a creative painter too. The more details you want, the better. And I'm going to show you again a few incredible examples coming up next. And here we go. You see, because we mentioned uh, dark and photorealistic and shadowy, you will see all these different shadows here. This is actually pretty cool if you actually like open this one. And you can see kind of the horse, the sun as well, and it added dark because it added dark here. And you can see some shadows here as well on that horse. And then finally, I wanted to try this one out. A cat riding a motorcycle on the moon. Let's go ahead and test it out and see if the AI was able to understand what the moon is and what a motorcycle is. And of course, the cat and the relationships between all these different objects in the scene. So here we go. What you see, we have the moon here. And you can see a cat, and you can see the motorcycle as well. All right, okay, that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go ahead, give it a try. And one last point as well. If you go ahead and check out the history here, it's going to show you all the history that I've been playing around with, basically. And if you click on collections, it's going to show you multiple collections, and you can simply store the, your favorite images as part of your collections here. And um, you can basically use it as or set it as private or set it as public as well. That's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.